another uh, artistic masterpiece from the uh, Mash uh, uh, the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. We have a, a matrix of a dollar mite. I've sawn this piece. This was part of a very large piece, and I, and I thought I'd extract some sections from it because this is is pretty appealing. Um, uh, uh, at that it's a lawn uh, from a cross section on the side when you look at the cross section you'll find first of all it's a lawn of minor cobalt and calcite crystals hence the pink color which have been partially dusted by a Kaiser color which in turn again has been coated by a layer of druzy quartz now in between you may find some black uh, which would be little waxy black botroids of heterogenite and then these little bladed crystals on top here we're gonna go with malachite for now Likeness, likeliness is that they're not malachite but uh, for sake of ease i'm gonna go with malachite it's always when you're dealing with pretty new deposits and the unexplored it's always very difficult especially with congo because in actuality uh, without correct testing um, I don't think any any one of our uh, uh, database of collectors etc has actually been underground in one of these mines. So even as to provenance, it's very difficult. And when I talk provenance, I talk of where the stone comes from. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga, lovely patterned artwork uh, of cobalt and calcite. Let's go with primary malachite and chrysocolor all protected by a layer of druzy quartz. Of course, the malachite would be on top of the druzy quartz.